what's going on? What's going on, y'all? It's an awesome day today, y'all, ain't it? Yes, it is. I hope everyone is doing well and awesome today, y'all. I am in a good mood, y'all. Good mood, always. And if this is your first time coming by my channel, I hope that you'll sit back, watch the video, comment, and give it a thumbs up. And I hope it's like such a good video that you can be like, you know what? I'm about to go ahead and hit that subscribe button for just T, all right? But today, guys, I have a little video that I'm going to share with y'all. I want some fish, so we're going to fry some fish today. I wasn't going to show, I wasn't going to make a video, but then I'm like, nah, I'm going to do a video. So I have like over here, this one is some haddock. I only have, this is mine. <laughs> so I just have one filet, one haddock filet. And um, over here, oh, I missed this, so I got to tell y'all that. Because it's really hard where I'm at to find haddock. Like I said, I'm from New York, and when you go get a fish dinner, you're going to get fried haddock in your fish dinners. I ain't really hear about cod and flounder and grouper and swine or whatever you call that. All that until I left New York, right? But anyways, this is some catfish right here. And I just had this in a Ziploc bag, and I put some um, Cajun seasoning. That's the only thing that's on there is Cajun seasoning. Cajun. And I had it in a Ziploc bag, and I had it in there overnight. So I let it sit in some Cajun seasoning for 24 hours, all right? In order to get this going, guys, you're going to need some little bit of sugar. You're going to need some sugar. You're also going to need some soda water. You want to make sure that it's really, really cold, too. You want to make sure all your wet ingredients are nice and cold. And y'all know I got to have some Sassoon. So we're going to be using some Sassoon. I'm sorry, I felt a little awkward a little bit because, you know, this hand is dirty because I was touching the fish. So I'm trying to use my other hand, which I'm not left-handed. So for seasonings, guys, we are going to be using some onion powder. We're also going to use some paprika also going to be using y'all know I like some spice so we're going to use a little bit of that cayenne pepper now as always you don't have to put that into your batter okay you don't have to do this this is just what I'm putting in you can take that away take it on out if you don't like spicy we're also going to be using a little bit of seasoned salt so whatever seasoned salt that you prefer that's the one that you use all right also we're going to be using some cornstarch going to be using some cornstarch hope you guys can see this I'm going to end up having to wipe these off anyway. So, also some baking powder. Also, you're going to need some all-purpose white flour. And last but not least, some garlic powder. All right? So, what we're going to do first is we're going to go ahead and get our wet batter mixed up. I'm going to come back and show you guys because you want to keep this in the refrigerator for at least 15 minutes. You want to get it cold. Cold, cold Wet batter is going to do it's going to help stick to your fish it's going to help so that it stays crunchy and your batter does not fall off if your ingredient your liquid ingredients are nice and cold all right guys welcome back so into this bowl right here i have one cup of all-purpose white flour and we're just going to add our fish into here um i didn't put any seasoning into this flour mainly one because that fish over here i already have Cajun seasoning on there. Of course, I don't have any on mine, but that's fine. I don't want to overpower the seasoning on here with more seasoning into this flour because we're already going to add some more into our wet batter. So you're just going to get your fish and you're going to flour it and you want to push down and get that, that, that flour like into your fish. All right. And then I'm going to just do the same thing with the other two that I have, and then I'm gonna let this sit on a wire rack while I go ahead and get the wet batter mixed up. If you don't have a wire rack, just sit them on a plate. It's just, it's still gonna work, you know, old school. Just get a plate, <laughs> same thing. You just wanna flour them like that. All right, guys, yeah. welcome back. So we're gonna go ahead and we're going to get this wet batter going, all right? So we can get to making this fish, right? Come on, just T, get it going. Come on, y'all. Walk with me, right? So first, guys, and I'm using the same bowl that I, you know, dredged my fish in. It's fine. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to put some fish back in it. So you want to start out with three-fourths cup 
of that all-purpose white flour. So we're gonna pour that in here. And we're also going to use two tablespoons of cornstarch. Right? Slow on. Two. I'm trying to keep I be trying to measure stuff for y'all. I really, really be trying. And we're going to use one teaspoon of white granulated sugar. Put that on in the yard. Oh, I should have had these open up. Y'all, I'm so sorry. But I'm going to have to fast forward. And, I don't know. Just tea slipping right now. But um, we have... <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. We have this seasoned salt. And we're going to use one half of teaspoon of seasoned salt. Whatever seasoned salt you want. I'm going to use one half a teaspoon of that. And with my sassoon, I'm going to... I have one envelope. And I'm just going to pour a little bit. Probably like half of this envelope in there. I'm going to do half of that as well. And bacon powder. I'm going to use one fourth of a teaspoon of bacon powder. Oh, girl, but I ain't know what I'm going to go ahead and get to the small one. There we go. One fourth teaspoon of bacon powder. Put that in there. Oh, I should have had these open up, y'all. I'm so sorry. I swear to goodness I am. And we have the onion powder. And we're going to use one half of a teaspoon. No, I'm going to use one fourth. One fourth teaspoon of this bacon powder. Of this onion powder. I'm sorry. One fourth. Same thing with the garlic powder. One fourth. Yeah, I'll be trying to measure this stuff too. So one fourth garlic powder. One fourth of paprika as well. And add that in here as well because we want to get this wet batter going so we can put it in the refrigerator and let it chill. Paprika. Put that on in now. And y'all know I like the spicy side of life. So I'm going to add me some cayenne pepper. And I'm going to do one fourth of that as well. A little bit more than one fourth. Have to surprise my hubby with that one. Uh-huh. Ooh. And I'm going to mix those up, mix them up, and then this is that soda water right here. So where's my measuring cup? We're going to put three-fourths cup of soda water as well. And you want to make sure that it's nice and cold, like I said, nice and cold. And you want to pour that into your mixture slowly. All right? You want to pour it too fast because... It might, we might not even need all of this. We might need it. Never know. It's rather just pour it in slow. Because you want it to be clumpy. You want it to have like a, like a lumpy kind of look to it. Y'all, I am bad with flour. I can have it everywhere. I have it all over the place. Let me pour that on here. And you want to just mix this up really, really good. I got flour off. Oh. All over my little counter, y'all. That's why I never like show y'all when I'm putting flour into a cup or nothing. If you notice in my videos, y'all will not see me putting flour into anything, pouring it into a bowl because I have it all over the place there. But you yeah, know, that's the consistency you want. Let's see if you guys can see this because it's lumpy. So you want some lumps to be in there. I hope you guys can see that. You know, hopefully, y'all can see it. But you want it to be lumpy. And you don't want to mix it too much. You just want to incorporate all of the flour in there. Make sure you don't see any white in there from the flour. So you want to get all of that. But you don't want to over mix it either. And if you need to, if you're making more than what I'm making, then just double this recipe, all right? Because I'm just making a little bit. So I don't need a lot of batter. Waste not, want not, right? And so I'm just going to go ahead and Put this on in another container. I'm gonna actually pour it into my little my little cup, and I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator, and then I'm gonna come right back. As I clean up. Welcome back, y'all. So we about to get to cooking this dog on fish, right? Yes, ma'am. So I have some canola oil into this pan, and you wanna let it get really 
really, really, really hot. <laughs> you want to let it get hot. But you want your oil to be at least like 350, 375 when you're cooking seafood. Because you know fish cooks really, really fast. But you also want to have that outside crunch to it. You want the outside to be crunchy, you know? And when you're cooking this, you're going to want to watch it. Don't move away from your stove. Just stay by it. So into this bowl, I had that batter that I let sit for 15 minutes in the refrigerator. And also, I'll let you know, too, if, you got, if your batter gets a little thick, right, because this had gotten a little thick because it's gotten cold, just add another teaspoon, tablespoon, a little bit at a time, just a couple of drips of that soda, soda water into there and just get it, you know, so that it's that consistent. All right, so we're gonna put these in here. And you wanna be very, 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 very careful when you're putting this in there. You wanna drip off that excess. Drip it off, unless you want the little extra crunches that come in this little pan, that's all good too. But just put that in here, like so. And that's that, right there, that piece is that hat up. And so I'm gonna do the same thing with the catfish. I'm only going to do two of these at a time. This is that catfish. I have it in here. And so like I said, if you need more batter than what I'm using, because I'm only cooking a little bit of fish, y'all, then just double it or triple it or whatever, you know, if you're making it for a, you know, a big crowd. All right. I'm going to drip that off. And very carefully add that right on in here. Yep. And we're gonna let this go for like two or about three, four minutes on that side. And then I'm gonna okay, you guys. So it's been like four minutes, and I'm going to flip this over the other side. This smells so good. I'm so hungry. OMG, put that on over, y'all. This is going to be so crispy, y'all. It's going to be crispy. So I'm going to go ahead and let this go for like another three minutes on the other side. And see all the little bits and stuff in there? Yeah, go ahead and get those out. You know, go ahead and pick them out. Unless you like those, then go ahead and leave them in. But I'm taking them out. All right, you guys, so we're back. And I'm about to take this out. This pan. Got my wire rack. About to sit it over here. We about to get those out, y'all. Oh, and gee. This is gonna be so good. Look at that fish, y'all. Look at that. Nice and crispy. Oh, shoot. I almost dropped it. Let me bring it back to y'all. Look at that. Come on, y'all. Crispy. Yes, ma'am. I'm telling you, I know how to cook. And I can definitely cook some doggone fish. Crispy. Crispy, crispy, crispy. And that other one that I showed you guys is that catfish. This is that piece of hat off right here. Oh, my gosh. And OMG. I got my little seafood sauce over there because I love that I'm telling y'all that goes on everything so I'm about to put this other one in here guys I'm gonna get that one done and then I'm gonna bring y'all right back we're gonna come back we're gonna come back come get y'all a piece I know you want some come on come get it ah it's a little hot though don't touch it don't touch it though don't touch it <laughs> All right, last piece of fish in here. This is a catfish. Ooh, a little warm. It's a little warm. That grease a little warm, y'all. Don't ever stick your finger in there. <laughs> but this is the last piece of catfish, y'all. Oh, my gosh, y'all. This is going to be so good. And it's so crunchy. Look at this. Let me show y'all a piece of this catfish. Oh, let me get a spoon. Something so I can show y'all. How crispy this is. I ain't lying to y'all. Oh, it's a little warm. 
This is the catfish, right? Let me see if y'all can hear this. Hear that? Crunchy, right? Hat on. Let me show you. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to eat this. Oh my gosh. Hat on. Oh, it's hot. I can't do this real long. It's still hot. Crunchy. Yep. Go ahead. Give it to me. Come on, y'all. Give it to me. Give it to me. Crispy. Let me show you guys. Crispy. Coming right out the grease. Come on, y'all.